It's easier to do when you're involved with good people. I, I, I love the hexagons. I love Richard Hart. I, I love the attitude of like um, building it, you know, for the people. You take that first step to invest in yourself. Um, that, that is really the start of a, a new life for you. Right now is the opportunity for everybody to be at square one, you know, uh, or the genesis. Yes, guys. Oh, yes. Warm welcome to Crypto 7. In today's stream, why playing the cycle is more important than playing the coin. Playing the cycle is more important than playing the coin. If you understand the cycle, wow, it doesn't half help you to make it to Monaco. Doesn't half help you with your stress levels. Doesn't half help, that's for sure. In that it does help. <laughs> double negatives. We don't like double negatives. Tangent does too many double negatives, particularly when I've only had three hours sleep. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, we had a great stream yesterday. I was expecting it not to be, I was expecting it to touch a lot of nerves and a lot of people to have some backlash. And it wasn't, I still did it nonetheless. And I didn't get a single person that disagreed with my sentiment and the overall thrust of what I was saying, which is, you know, let's stop disagreeing with everything that Richard Hart says. And it's a weird situation that we've got ourselves in because he stepped away for a while and we've all sort of appointed surrogate leaders or whatever else it is. Anyway, that was yesterday's stream. Today's stream is completely different, complete change of gear. Um, everyone loved it, uh, but I did use the F word a lot, which people liked. They said it's a bottom indicator, but I won't be using the F word today. I did have one person said, my my little boy learned a few new words today. <laughs> I said, listen, just as long as he's not up in his room talking to 40-year-old men or ladies, that's fine, that's fine. But anyway, no, but seriously, um, change of tack today, very positive. When you understand the cycle, it all fits into place. The community are asking Richard Hart, when Lambo, when Monaco? But the answer is in the cycle. If you understand the cycle, you understand where we are in things. So once we break clear of, once we break the all-time high, we've touched it, we've gone past it, we've bounced around it. None of that counts. It counts for nothing. We have to break it. We break it by closing above it, like we said yesterday. Once we break it, that's when we get altcoin season. Or to use another phrase, which I think is better, the mania phase. The mania phase. If you think the current price action around meme coins or AI coins is mania, you've seen nothing yet. If you think the current action around uh, Bonk and, and Pepe and Dog with a Hat and stuff and Fetch AI and artificial liquid intelligence and all these things is mania, then you've either not been in crypto long or you've got a very short memory. Because this is nothing, guys. 
I, we talk here on the Crypto 7 about the face melter. We've had the first, we haven't had the first face melter yet. So when do we get the first face melter, Crypto 7? I'm glad you asked the question. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking the question. It's when crypto, when Bitcoin breaks the all-time high, breaks, not hits it, goes past it, then goes back down below it, <laughs> bounces around it, flirts with it, touches it, interferes with it in a sexual way. No, 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 sorry. Scrub that idea. No, it's when we break it. We break it when we close above it. That's when we get the altcoin season. That's when we get the mania phase. So 95% of the gains in altcoins happen after Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high. And that's what we're going to show you today in this stream. So you're going to love it. At the end of this stream, you're going to say, hold my beer, lads. I need to be subscribed to this guy and I need to tap the bell and uh, put some sevens in or something, even, even though I'm enjoying my beer. I need to do this. This is important. This guy knows the score. This helps us to get to Monaco, and it helps us to get to Monaco with fewer gray hairs and fewer wrinkles. If you understand the cycle, you can be very relaxed. If you, when you understand what I'm going to tell you today, that you probably don't even need to go to GoPulse to check the prices. It's irrelevant. Because once you understand what I'm going to tell you today, you know that until Bitcoin breaks the all-time high, it's not even worth looking at the price of your HEX. It's not even worth looking at the price of your incentive token. Because Bitcoin hasn't broken the all-time high, so we're not in the mania phase. And clearly, clearly, Hex and Pulse Chain aren't going to be one of the minority of cryptos that do more than the sort of bog standard average that most of the cryptos have done from their lows. So most of the cryptos have done a three to five X and Hex and Pulse Chain are sitting there in the in the C minus class. We're, we're in the C minus class, I think. That's about where we are so far. You know, if you were to if you were to um, do a parents evening on the cryptos tonight, <laughs> this is a good little good little metaphor I've come up with, isn't it? So we've got parents evening for crypto tonight. and. Um, we're, Hex and Pulse Chain and Richard Hart are going to get a C minus for achievement because we've done about a three to a five X, haven't we? Let's not split hairs. Maybe the incentive token done a bit more. Maybe PLS is, maybe Hex has done a bit less lately. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Because the community has been self harming again. We've left the community alone with the scissors. We shouldn't leave the community alone with the scissors. It's got to be plastic scissors with the community, hasn't it? Particularly when Richard's not streaming. When he's not coming around and holding your hand while you watch your favorite TV programs, so no, but seriously. So yeah, so if we if Hex and Pulse Chain were going to go to parents' evening tonight, I think Richard Hart would get a C minus for achievement, and probably, and probably, um, probably a B for effort. <laughs> probably a B for effort because he keeps coming into the community and making suggestions like don't bother with the sex sides okay thanks Richard now we'll, we'll, we'll do it anyway you fuck him and uh, we, we did this yesterday and I swore damn it sorry <laughs> sorry sorry Just don't mention it <laughs> move on Chris so um, mm, yeah so anyway there's the, so once you understand the cycle that's all we really need to know about and understand that we haven't hit the mania phase and so that's what we're going to talk about but while a few more people come into the house 68 people watching live so far that's not too bad milan tanks is always stay loud and proud seven blobfish king says oh yeah let's go 777 listen to crypto seven always has the alpha thanks very much blob bob of the fish and the king thank you man Complex Simon says, good morning all. Chris Bacon says, let's go. And um, hey, Crispy Bacon, people are shouting each other out. Milan Tank says, bonus stream was absolute fire. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Everyone seemed to like it. I, did, I, only, got, I only got nice comments. It was brilliant. And I must thank you all guys for that as well. Thank you for that. It's really nice. You know, you guys help me as much as I help you, I think. It just helps to keep ourselves sane and things. And um, it has been a long wait. But then again, when you listen to this, if you take away what I'm actually going to say to you in a minute, you're going to go, okay, well, this is fine then. And the, if you listen to what I'm going to say over the next 45 minutes, you're going to think, why isn't everyone investing in crypto? And of course, that's what's going to happen in hindsight in six months' time. Everyone's going to look back and say, oh, if I was in crypto, you know, I would have known to go all in on Hex and Pulse Chain. It was so, it was so obvious. All these other new layer ones were going off. And Richard Hart, the founder of the prior 10,000 X coin, these people were so stupid not to buy Hex and Pulse Chain. Now, I do think it's a buying opportunity. I'll just say it now, guys. I do think it's a buying opportunity. You know, I think because, because I've been recommending people dollar cast average since it was a lot higher. You know, you feel a bit sort of, you kind of give up on recommending people buy it, but that's probably exactly when you should be buying it. As, as people said, uh, Crypto7 using the F word all the time and yesterday's stream was a mega bottom signal. It was a mega signal that we were about to go up. And I think I think the fact that all the hex streamers have 
kind of almost given up on recommending to people that they buy hex and incentive token at six dollars and and hex uh, you know wherever it is and uh, i i think that um that, that we should be recommending to people that we buy it and you know i would recommend to people that they buy it now um be, particularly when you consider what i'm about to say around the mania phase and things sandip says like share and subscribe thanks man really appreciate your strong support that's really cool um chris bacon says good day Read that out already. D, D base. Who else we got? We got Crypto Mantis out to Crypto Bear out to Late Starter sixty plus. You're very welcome. And he's and he's in the Swiss Alps. Fantastic. Doing a bit of skiing, no doubt. Fabulous, fabulous. Yes, yes. You've got sunshine and snow in Switzerland at the moment. It's great time. Great time to be on the piste. Enjoy, friend. Enjoy. I'm hoping to do a lot of that in later. I'm hoping I'm going to focus the next. 18 months on crypto and then i'm hoping to my life will be a perpetual ski holiday hopefully everything goes to plan and it's going to plan so far and we understand the cycle then we, we can be relaxed about it and start booking those ski holidays start writing those resignation letters to our bosses once we understand the cycle guys it's that simple play the cycle don't play the man play the cycle don't play the crypto play the cycle don't play the founder you get the idea DBay says, thinking about rotating half of my PulseX into Inc. Highest upside correlation yet. It's getting hit less than PLSX and PLS on every dip, um, oddly enough. Yeah, I, it's very positive, that is. And, um, you know, it was a good signal. And P, and Richard Hart was was also bigging up the incentive token, which is which is exactly what made me ape into it at $9. You know, <laughs> I'm very relaxed about it. And obviously, for the when you can listen to my stream in a moment, you'll realize why I'm so relaxed. But um yeah, it's up to you, friend. I, 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 I'm, I, I just think, I just think picking between one of Richard's tickers is like picking between supermodels at the bar, as I say, isn't it? Brewmasters is less beer now, more beer later. Fantastic. His usual comment there. It's always appreciated. Consistency in the comments there from Brewmaster. Hey, we got uh, Cory Geary in the house. Fantastic. I really enjoy his content. Make sure to subscribe to Cory Geary. Um, really like what he's about and his and his um his sidekick Dan or Dane Dane I think it is a good guy another nice nice guy he he yawns too much in the streams though uh, Curry you need to tell him to stop yawning <laughs> it's a really bad look he yawns in the in the stream so he needs to stop that <laughs> it's um eating and yawning are the two things I think streamers shouldn't do while they're streaming <laughs> but I like I, one of my favorite channels is Curry Geary and um, this lad who yawns too much but i like what he says when he's not yawning <laughs> but we don't want to see his tonsils get on with it <laughs> i am high degrees is happy friday phoenix kukini boy sob sing out to mr crypto jsy out to jj fiki out to shouted you out already crypto bear um the crypto bear says i bet if pulse x was um was mooning you would get your 15k in less than 14 out 48 hours yes probably so i need to sophisticate i need to uh, matty said i need to contact um people directly and sort of say look, what, what are the benefits of this what where do i see the benefits are i think there's clear commercial benefits to it i think that what's going to happen is as we go into this mania phase i think as we go later into this bull market that um we will have the photos we'll have the connections We'll have something we can draw on on the marketing side, and it's just going to really help to um, bring even more people into Hex and Pulse Chain. In this mania phase, we're going to talk about now. I absolutely, completely agree. And um, but um, it it is what it is anyway. I might just have to uh, I might have to pay for it myself out of my Fetch AI gains. <laughs> I talked about Fetch AI, and um, I, I, actually, I could I could throw it up now actually. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just view this tab instead. Let's go. Let's go. StreamYard. And um, yeah, so Fetch AI is going to merge with uh, two other cryptocurrencies, which I'm not very happy about. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm forced to take a bit of early profit on this one. But um, you can see even even in the last months, it's done a, it's the last four weeks, it's done a 3x. And um, I was taking a bit of profit here. And I'm going to take some more profit as it goes up. Because I just don't know how this merge is going to go. And apparently, you're going to get a new coin airdrop to you. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know why they've done that. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that before. But, you know, 
like I said to you guys all through the bear market, look, focus on Hex and Pulse Chain. If you want to diversify a little bit, get into gaming and AI. So that's what I did. Some people that watch my channel did it as well. And so it's worked out really, really well. It's how well has it worked out? It's worked out so well that 90% of my crypto wealth was in Hex and Pulse Chain. But because these diversification plays have done so well, that now 90% of my wealth is not in RH cryptos. But that's not my fault. It's not Richard Hart's fault. It's nobody's fault. It was just a statement of fact. It's just how it's gone. I've never sold a hex, never sold a pulse chain. And yet, 90% of my crypto wealth is now in things like gaming and things like AI. Doesn't matter. We're still early. We're still early. So if you've ever done the marathon, you know, some people, some people set off too quickly and they don't make it. And it's a bit like that. Let's see. Let's see. It's a long race. We're going to see what happens. But anyway. Not sure. Anyway, I think I think I just mentioned that to say, listen, you know, I, I think I'll be able to do something, even though I have to pay for it myself. I mean, we're doing the event anyway. And that's the beauty of it—that the sp sponsorship money is purely to get the get the um, get the logos on the on the paddock jackets, to get the logo on the streaming and things like that. But um, the event's happening anyway, so if if I, I'll either come to an agreement with the organisers to do something um, for Pulse Chain. Um, or a project on Pulse Chain, or um, or just uh, you know do it myself. I, I, I think I think I think I'll probably try and do something. But uh, you know, it's uh, yeah, as you say, crypto bear. It's a bit. Um, it is what it is anyway. I mean, as I say, I, people get nothing but nice comments after yesterday's stream. So I'm not going to start getting the violin out and things. And you know, I, you know, I mean, who's going to get the violin out for me? I mean, you know, I don't expect anyone to. I don't expect anyone to do to get the violin out for me in real life. So I certainly don't expect it from my internet friends. Sandra, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, the Bitcoin halving gets much closer now. It must be about, it must be less than three weeks away now. Very exciting. Very exciting. Academaciated, Mr. Crypto JSY. People will, will say PLS is a failure when we're 30x higher. Will they? PLS will... People will say PLS is a failure when 30x higher. I know there's a lot of people in the community that would happily sell now on a 10 or a 15x. But when we do the 10 or 50, 15x, Mr. Crypto JSY, they won't want to sell. So the sentiment in the Hex and Pulse Chain community will completely change. So if you were to do a straw poll now of all the Hexicons and Pulsicons, you'd probably find that if they admitted to it, you'd probably find, I sense that, I certainly, I even hear some hex streamers are like this, that would probably be quite happy with a 10x and 15x right now. And if you could guarantee them a 15x, they'd sort of shake your hand on it, that sort of thing. But um, when we get, this is, this is the delicious thing about it, and, you know, the psychology of crypto, it's all about the psychology, crypto's a mind game, play the mind game or, or, or lose big time. It's like that in sport. It's like that in anything. Yes, you've got to be good at riding a horse, but you've got to be mentally strong and you've got to play the mind game. Yes, you've got to be good at riding a motorbike, but if you if you if you if you have fear, if you allow fear to to get into your mind, if you uh, aren't brutal as you overtake the lap back markers, then you're going to hit the back marker. If you think about hitting the back marker, you will hit the back marker and you will both die. So it's very important to get these things out of your mind and to understand what you're trying to do and to have vision and to be able to see your goals and things. And so it's the same, same in everything in life, same in your business, wherever you work, guys, or, or worked. Uh, it's the same in everything. You've got to be able to see what you're trying to achieve. And by understanding the cycle, we can see what we're trying to achieve. So sorry, a bit of a bit of a long thing. So um, yeah, not sure about that, friend. But I probably misunderstand what you're trying to say there. Yeah, ZB says flip the DGen coins now and funnel into Pulse. Well, that's right, and that's probably something worth saying about Fetch AI. So I've got a big bag of Fetch AI. AI. I can't recommend to anyone to buy it now. It could two x, three x, four x, or it could go down ninety percent because of this merger thing. It looks like they're just going to push it through. They're doing a vote on it, but it looks like they're going to do it anyway. Um, people like the fact that I understand other cryptos and talk about other cryptos sometimes. And so it's interesting, I think, hopefully for people, but just so but very briefly. So it looks like the founders of these three cryptocurrencies, Ocean, Fetch AI, and some other one, have decided they're going to merge. They're doing a vote and consultation on it, but it looks like a done deal to me. So it looks like they're going to merge. And um, I don't know how good that is. Fetch AI was doing just fine without the merger. People are saying, oh, well, they can they can pool their resources and things. And oh, yeah, okay. Um, so I don't really understand it, particularly as they're going to continue with the three cryptos as well. So 
Getting into Fetch AI, this is something to say. So we've been having a bit of an AI season. So at some point, this AI season will move more to a new layer one season, catching things like Pulse Chain and other things. And this memes, meme coin season that we've got will end as well. This meme coin season will end just as sure as the parties end and just as sure as the hangovers come the next day. It's as sure as, as day follows night and night follows day. These, these are season things. And some of the meme coin people will tell you, oh, it's going to keep going. This, this, this time's going to be different. We're just going to have one long perpetual meme coin season. No, we're not. No, we're not. And we're not going to have a perpetual AI season either. They always take turns. The cryptos take turn on the sun lounges, as we say. And uh, so whatever crypto you're in. So it's much more important to understand the cycle than to even worry about that. But yeah, so I mean, Fetch AI, well, it's, it's having a season at the moment, as we can see from the price chart up there, 3x in the last four weeks, not bad. And, um, and, um, and it could 3x again in the next month or it could go down 90%. So I'm not recommending to people to get it now, just as I wouldn't be recommending to people to get Dog with a Hat and Pepe and, and, and Bonk and whatever else now. Yeah, they could 2x or they could 95% down. The, the, but obviously, the later and later you are into these mini seasons or mini bull runs for different crypto sectors within the crypto space, the more and more likely you are to get really burnt in it. So I think the people that are going to be aping into meme coins now, particularly if it's meme coins that have already had a lot of price action. So one of the things, just staying on this and then we move off meme coins. But one of the things that happens, and this is this is key, when um, when Bitcoin, and now this will help you to really understand the cycle, understand when Monaco and all this sort of thing. So it's when Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high that Dogecoin starts to go on its run. It's when Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high, and it was the same with the last two cycles. So, um, And that's what we're seeing now, that Bitcoin's on the verge of breaking its prior all-time high, and, and Dogecoin's starting to go up a lot. And this is because this is because people are coming back in who've already previously had Dogecoin. They may have heard about, may have heard Elon Musk shilling Dogecoin. So I I say to you, don't I, that there are there are meme coins and the meme coins. Not all meme coins are built the same, and 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 uh, not all meme coins are equal. So some of the established meme coins like Shiba and Doge will do very well again in this cycle, and um, and it's a sign that retail are coming in. So it's really great to see Dogecoin going up a lot. I think it's gone up about twenty five percent in the last week, maybe more. That's really good because because. Not because I've got a tiny little bag of it somewhere on a wallet. It's very good. It's my only meme coin, by the way. It's very good because it means the normies are coming. And this is what Ivan's been predicting, that the normies come, and the normies come when Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high. So we're just seeing the normies. Some of the, some of the normies, it's like, it, it's like arriving at the Taylor Swift concert a bit early, and just a few people have started to come in. You know, they've managed to get in with the security and catering. They've just managed to squeeze their way in and things. It's a bit like that. We're getting just some of the normies coming in. So um, it's a sign that we're, we're starting to go, we're just about to get into the mania phase, which is absolutely right, of course, because when Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high, that's when we hit the mania phase. And that's when we get these massive gains. Now, I've got some, I've got some delicious numbers for you now, which I, think I've, which I think I've committed to memory because I was there at the time I experienced it. So I can tell you about it now. And I think you're going to love this. And this is when you're going to relax about Hex and Pulse Chain. And if you're all in on Incentive Token and like somebody was just saying there, they're flipping their PLSX for Incentive and they're a bit worried about when things are going to happen. So, so I'll give you some examples now. So as I said, 95% of the gains in altcoins <coughs> come after Bitcoin has broken its prior all-time high. Has Bitcoin broken its prior all-time high? No, it hasn't. Might it do on Sunday? Yes, it might. Or it might take another week or two weeks. We don't know yet. But um, it doesn't matter, does it? Once you understand this, you're laughing. So 95% of the gains in altcoins are still to be had. And I'll give you some examples of this so you get it. So when Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high in the last bull market of 20K, when it broke its price, as, as it was breaking, exactly at this point in the last cycle, basically, is what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, Ethereum was at $500. So Ethereum was only at $500 when Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high in the last bull market. So at this exact point, Bitcoin went on to, to basically 5K, so basically a 10X. But that was Ethereum. That's massive, massive Ethereum, the uh, second, the, the, the biggest altcoin. Some people, it's so big, some people say it's not an altcoin, you know. Um, but anyway, so that did a 10x after Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high. So if Ethereum can do, the massive Ethereum can do a 10x after Bitcoin's broken its all-time high. So it only went from 80 to 500 before, and it went from 500 to 5,000 
basically, after Bitcoin broke its prior to high from the last cycle. Now, let's take another example, which I think I think is a better example. Let's look at Cardano, right? Now, Cardano was at just 10 cents when Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high. So at this exact point, guys and girls, at this exact point in the cycle, what had Cardano done, which remember it all-time high at over $3 in the bull market, did 150-something X, yeah? And I, and, and I know we're all going to be quite happy with 150X. And by the way, you're going to get 150X in Hex and Pulse Dream. People are saying, oh, I'm looking forward to his price predictions. My, predi my prediction is it's going to be somewhere between 100X to a few hundred X in the, in the main RH tickers from where we are now, guys, from where we are now. And when you listen to me talking about Cardano, you know, boring old Cardano with James, with James, with with Charles Hoskinson and his llama jumpers. Where did I get James from? Maybe his middle name's James, and I saw it somewhere. Sometimes I have a bit of a photographic memory, so I can remember everyone's names and telephone numbers if I see them in writing. Maybe maybe his middle name is James, and I read that somewhere in Wikipedia or somewhere. I have to check that afterwards. Anyway, so I digress. So. When Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high, and we haven't broken our prior all-time high for Bitcoin yet, Cardano was just 10 cents, and then it rocketed up in the mania phase, baby. In the mania phase, guys, which is coming, it rocketed from 10 cents to $3 something, which is a 30x. I keep playing that round in my head because I'm thinking, that sounds like a lot. Because like I say, we'd all be happy with a 30x, wouldn't we? But this is Cardanzo. This is Cardano. It's like, oh, you know, Charles, who has to do a research report to decide whether he's going to have scrambled eggs or poached eggs for breakfast, you know, before he decides whether he's going to take his Tesla or the bus, he needs to do another research report. He's, he has to, every decision has to have a research report. He's as slow as anything. He's as slow as tectonic drift, as slow as a price of hex on pulse chain in the bear market. <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, so that did a 30x. So from when Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high in this cycle, which Crypto 7's predicting is going to be Sunday night, <laughs> we then get into mania phase. Look, are you guys not excited? You should be excited. You should be mania excited. If you're not excited, just pause this for a second. Even if you're watching live, just pause. Walk around. Have a word with yourself. Slap yourself on the face. Look, you should be excited. Look, we were excited in the bear market, and it wasn't certain that there'd be a bull market. It was only 97, 98% certain. It's 100% certain now. Because Larry Fink's going on mainstream television, telling everyone the ETF is the most amazing thing ever in the history of ETFs. How he can't believe how good it is. And, and the reporters are saying, you may have seen these clips. I have guys like Ivan were showing them, but the reporters, the good looking, the good looking CNBC and mainstream US television reporters are saying, so you thought it would be good, Larry, but you didn't think it would be this good. And he goes, yes, I like the way you said that. Good looking CNBC anchor. I like the way you said that. That's exactly it. I thought it would be fucking good because I'm a legend, but it's gone even better than I thought it would. Sorry, that's second time I sweared. I think we should have a penalty box for my swearing. <laughs> I think I should probably, um, I don't know, I should probably do a sort of start this fund for the uh, stray cats in Monaco and maybe I should put $10 every time I use the F word or something if, if I haven't got permission to use it on a stream. And I did say I wouldn't use it and I've used it twice. Apologies. Just gonna have a quick drink. <laughs> well, I try to remember what I was saying about Larry Fink. Well, Larry Fink, Larry Pink. They call why do they call him Larry Pink? I don't even know. Just have a good drink. So the mania phase is coming and um completely lost my thread. The mania phase is coming, and we've got um we know that Ethereum did a 10x from when Bitcoin all-time hide in the prior bull market. But that's massive Goliath Ethereum with its high gas fees. Cardanzo, with Charles Hoskinson in his research reports in his fluffy llama jumpers, who looks about 62, but he's actually about 34. He, um, he got 30x after Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high. Have we broken our prior all-time high? No, we haven't. Crypto 7 predicts Sunday. Then we're going to get at least a 10x in, in all altcoins. So what, what's Hex and Pulse Chain going to do? They're going to do a lot more than that. The name of the game soon is going to be, right, what hasn't mooned yet? 
it's going to be an absolute tsunami of buying. People use that word all the time, tsunami, this and that. It is going to be. It's going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be like free chocolates at a Women's Institute meeting. It's going to be a mega rush for the door. It's, it's sad, isn't it? The more people don't understand what's about to happen, because if they did, I talk about my friend Tony sometimes. So um, he's aping into Hex and Pulse Chain now, and uh, because all my other recommendations have gone great for him, like Fetch AI and things. So, so um, he was saying, oh, yeah, I'd like to be investing more, but I've got two and, two and a half million sunk in. Oh, he's not listening. I've got two and a half million sunk into this development project. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, what, what are you making on that? What are, what's your expected ROI on that, Tony? Oh, 40%. I thought 40%. He's got to get out of bed early and go to construction sites. And in the UK, it's dark in the mornings and it's usually raining. He's got to have arguments with big, fat, hairy-ass contractors <laughs> about how they said the, the roof was going to be 40 grand and they're charging him 50 grand. You know, shit like that for 40%. I've given him hell, you know, because he's, I've been talking to him about crypto for years and he and he's made he's made a lot of money out of crypto, but he could have made so much more because he's got the capital. I've got the knowledge. It's one of those classic situations. But um, it's just how that's just how it is. So. So we've got the mania phase ahead of us, and that's when. People are actually actively looking for the ones that haven't already done a 20x or a 30x like Solana and um, AI coins and gaming coins and things. Well, what hasn't done a 20x or a 30x yet? You know, and um, everything just gets pushed up and along. So once you understand this, once you understand that 95% of the gains are still to be had, that the mania phase hasn't happened yet. And whilst you might think, particularly with the Pulse Chain community getting very excited about meme coins currently because we're in a meme coin season and because they've uh, diverted their frustration towards Rich's leadership, which they deem not to be to their liking, um, uh, into, into meme coin frenzy, um, you might think you might not, you might think we're already in a mania phase. You might mistake this for a mania phase. As I say, that that's like confusing disbelief with uh, denial we're not in denial we're in disbelief disbelief is the first point of the of the d's and dis and denials much much later on denials when you ignore the fact that everybody's in crypto now denials when you ignore the fact that solana's already done 150x and bitcoin is 241k as richard hart said it would be and um hex and pulse gene have given us at least 100x as they will do so once you understand this, where we are in the cycle, it's, it's I mean, it's so exciting, guys. It's any more exciting I'd take my trousers off, trousers off, to be honest with you guys. I would. Because we were excited in a bear market and it wasn't sure we'd ever have another bull market. Remember people used to go, where's the money going to come from, Crypto7? Just tell me where the liquidity is going to come from. Well, you can fucking see the liquidity now, can't you guys? You can see where the money's coming from now. Don't tell me there isn't the money to send Hex and Pulse Chain to the moon. I think what Rich is doing, and Tangent and I were talking about this offline, we were talking about this off air. Sure, Richard can oil the cogs. Sure, Richard, uh, or the OA address or whatever, can um, oil the cogs. I think that's the best phrase, you know? <laughs> Aid the process, shall we say. Stir the pot. But I think he will do that when the pot's starting to stir up on its own, if you like. When when the engine's revving nicely on its own, he'll just oil the cogs a little bit more with his money as well. So when is that? Hmm. Well, what's Crypto7 been saying about when we get to mania phase? What crypto's Crypto7 been saying when, when do we get to altcoin season? We haven't hold, had altcoin season yet. When do we get to altcoin season? When do we get to mania phase? Answer in the comments. That's right. Have an apple. Have an apple. It is when Bitcoin breaks the all-time high. Have we broken the all-time high yet? No, we haven't. So when everything really starts to moon, it's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful place. It might be we all do meet in Monaco after all. Monaco was a metaphor. Monaco, Monaco was like um, sort of... Um, an anagram of um, our ambitions and things, but it might be we do end up in Monaco, or maybe Portugal. Portugal, some some tax friendly, some tax friendly country, and we do meet for a coffee and a beer, 
maybe in Richard Hart's museum. But I think that uh, when we get to altcoin season, which could be in two or three days' time, or it could be two or three weeks' time, who cares? Christ. If people had the knowledge which is in my head, but with the capital that they've got, and they're messing about with 40% for a development project, I mean, it's fucking embarrassing. It's, it's embarrassing, isn't it? It's, it's embarrassing. I think he realizes, you know, this guy's cleverer than me. That's the irony. People think you have to be really clever to be in crypto. Or you have to really get into the nuts and bolts of the tokenomics of the crypto and spend hours and hours and hours listening to somebody like Gold Key about what this crypto can do, this derivative can do. You don't, you don't, you don't. You just have to understand the cycle. I love Richard Hart. I love Anatoly from Solana. I love Charles from Cardano. I like I like Gavin from Polkadot. I like Vitalik from Ethereum. My favorite though is is Charles for his... <laughs> I've got Charles on the brain today, haven't I? <laughs> my favorite is Richard Hart. Freudian slip there. No, I got out of a lot of my card. I know I got frustrated with that. I forgot frustrated with that. And I had too much of it. I was holding too much of it. But it's interesting because when you look at what I've just explained to you then, I said to you that in the in the prior bear market, not this one just gone, but the one before, Cardano was languishing at two cents for ages and ages. What a buy opportunity. Did over 150x from there, and you had ages to get it. Now, what other crypto do you know that's been languishing at a low price for ages and ages? Answer in the comments. What other crypto has been languishing for ages and ages and ages? And this, and, and, and by the way, in case you're thinking, oh yeah, but you know, Cardano was newer then, and it was hot to trot, and everyone was talking about it. People had Cardano posters and Charles Hoskinson posters on their wall. They did not. It's quite the opposite. You were the subject of public ridicule if you were investing in Cardano when it was two cents in um, 2019. You were the you were the subject of public ridicule. It was like admitting you're a Taylor Swift fan or or um, or a big channel telling you that they like Richard Hart. It was that sort of place. And it did 150x. So what's Pulse Chain going to do? And here I'm saying you're going to get at least 100 to 300x in Hex and Pulse Chain. Looks pretty conservative when you hear me say that everyone was just laughing at the people buying Cardano at two cents. And it wasn't like some wick down or you had a weekend to buy it at two cents. You had months and months. I think it went down to one and a half cents, but it sat at two for ages. Just as Hex and Pulse Chain, just as PLS is sitting at the sacrifice price for ages and all that stuff. Okay. So, so we can see what's going to happen. So it's the same now. So Cardano is probably going to do... So it did a 30x from when Bitcoin broke its prior all-time high. What could it do this time? Could it do another 30x easily? I would have thought, yeah. Could do another 30x. The Cardano is going to do 30x. What's Hex and Pulse Chain going to do? It's, ama it's amazing, isn't it? So now we understand that where we are in the cycle. And we understand that playing the cycle is more important than playing the crypto. So if you want to get to Monaco. Yeah, you can look clever on X, understanding the tokenomics of um, of a crypto, understanding that PLSX market cap is, is limited, finite, forever, and that 4% has already been burned through the buy and burn function, all that sort of good stuff. And, um, you know, you can get more followers on X by understanding that kind of thing and uh, maybe a better table at a Hex conference. But it doesn't matter. It's not really very relevant, is it, to anything? It's only, it's only about the cycle. Where are we in the cycle? So when Bitcoin hit, broke, broke, sorry, not hit, I made that mistake. I'm remembering, we're making the distinction between hitting and breaking. It's only when we break the prior all-time high of Bitcoin that we go to mania phase. So Ethereum had only done something like a 4 or 5x. Cardano had only done something like a 4 or 5x. What's Hex and Pulse Chain done so far from their lows? Ooh, about a 4 or 5x. So there's plenty of people in the community that um, 
if you gave them the choice right now and said to them, listen, do you want a 10x right now, but you got to piss off and not come back? There's a lot of people who just say, oh, do you know what? It's been a long bear market. Thank you very much. But when we get to 10x, none of them will want to sell. When we get to 100x, even less will want to sell. And that's the psychology of crypto and everything else. So don't worry about the fact that a lot of people want to sell. Clearly, we need to wait until we've got enough momentum, enough, enough um, spark to um, enough, enough juice in the tank to get past all that sort of stuff where these are people I would be happy because we've got a ton of wallets, ton of people sacrifice with PLSX, ton of people would probably like a second chance to sell at break even. More soy boys there. But these are small bag holders. Remember, the average bag holder for PLSX is something ridiculous like what I tip for lunch. It's something ridiculous like $200 or something. So, you know, they, they're not going to move the dial. It's my friend Tony with his millions staying up till late acquiring Hex and PLS right now that are going to move the dial. It's the big, it's the big players. It's when all the big players start to make tons of money, tons more money in Solana. So Ivan on tech saying that Solana is going to go from $200 to $400 next month. Well, if it does, there's going to be a lot of crypto bros with a metric FF ton of, of, of money that can start investing into things which haven't moved yet. That's the name of the game. Remember, the name of the game is not to ape into things which have already just done a 20x, 30x, 48x, 58x, like meme coins. That is beyond risky. I mean, investing in a meme coin in the first place is risky, but to invest in a meme coin late on in its season within the bull market is uh, is more than risky. It's like, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's beyond risky. It's beyond risky. Um, you know, it's like uh, the risk of food poisoning around Vladimir Putin. It's very risky. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that um, I think that's a really good thing to understand. So now you understand this, you can stop going on GoPulse. You can stop going on Hex and Pulse Chain Twitter if you want to, or you can go on it and live on it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm not having a go at people who like to go on Twitter. But the reality is that. It doesn't matter. Nothing. All that matters is when is Bitcoin going to break? Break, yeah? Not touch, not flirt, not not fondle, not jump up and around with. To break. When's it going to break its all-time high? That's when mania phase starts. Mania phase sounds good, doesn't it, guys? Mania phase sounds good because it is good. And, and, and if you're wondering, well, how on earth are we going to get these gains? It's only, it's only going to happen this once more. It's only going to happen this once more. This is the last major bull market. There's no doubt about that. I think the plan with the institutions quite clearly is going to be they're looking at the moment, they're just looking to accumulate as much of it as they possibly can. So I think that when we get to the bear market in about 18 months' time, I now think we're going to go well into 2025. I think the cycle is going to be uh, broadly similar in terms of duration. We've not seen anything to suggest otherwise because the bear market was exactly the time it should have been. So why wouldn't the bull market continue exactly the time it would it should do, particularly with tailwinds like the election, like um, the ETF buying? I can't see why it wouldn't. Um, but um, as long as the stock market holds up, that's that's the only that could be the only fly, fly in the ointment. Stock market's doing great at the moment. Stock market's doing great at the moment. NVIDIA's doing fantastic. All artificial intelligence on the stock market's doing brilliant, which is one of the reasons why artificial intelligence in crypto is doing brilliant. And artificial intelligence in crypto brings the computational load and demand onto blockchain, which solves a problem. It solves a need. It solves a pain. The best cryptos are those that solve the pain. And what other crypto solves a pain? Pulse chain. Pulse chain solves a pain. Pulse chain solves the Ethereum gas fees pain. So is Pulse Chain going to do at least what everything else is doing? Of course it is. Now's the time to buy. It's certainly not the time to be exiting into, into any meme on any blockchain because the memes have had their season. Yeah, the meme coin season could go on another couple of months or it could go on another couple of minutes. I don't know. I don't know. Be somewhere in between those ranges, by the way. That's my prediction. The meme coin season will end within two minutes to two months. It will. So don't ape in now. Because there's a massive correction due in the meme coins. Of course there is. And then when people start 
getting out, getting their capital out of the meme coins, where are they going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for the new layer ones. Altcoin season is ahead of us. I think when you understand the cycles, it's so nice. It's so it's so good. Yeah, I, I the only thing that for me now that could cause the bull market to come to an abrupt end to create this sort of left truncated cycle thing, I think would be would be if um, if the stock market crashes, you know, really crashes. That would I think that could easily. If things have been getting frothy in crypto, and they're certainly not frothy at the moment, they're certainly not frothy at the moment. So Google searches for crypto and blockchain and things. If you do the standard, but like how to buy Bitcoin and which altcoin should I buy and stuff like that, it's all, it all, it's all been going down the last couple of weeks as, as Bitcoin's been retracing, and it hasn't got that high yet. The um, the Coinbase download app, which I always refer to because it's such a good measure, it's not even in the top two hundred at the moment. It's not even in the top 200 at the moment. And in the top of the 2017 and 2021 cycles, it was a very top download for a couple of weeks around the top. So we, we know that we've got loads and loads and loads of juice in the tank yet. The, the only risk really is to not be um, accumulating enough. Yeah, so the gains are massive. Um, one of the things I see that people do, a big mistake that I see hexagons and pulsicons make, and 151 people watching live, really appreciate you, um, do, do deploy the buttons. And um, one of the interesting things was yesterday I was, uh, you know, very, uh, very forthright, shall we say. I had picked up about 30 subs. It was really good. I normally pick up about three. So it was really, so people like the honesty and things, and I've tried to be uh, a bit more child-friendly today, a bit more family-friendly. <laughs> But, um, you know, uh, yeah, yeah one, of the th one of the mistakes that a lot of the less experienced people are making in Hex and Pulse Gene is they are, they are measuring where they're at with Hex and Pulse Gene by the dollar value. Now, listen, if, if you accept that crypto is going to be a lot more valuable than dollars in a year or two, if you accept that crypto is going to have a higher dollar value than it does at the moment, then it's perfectly logical, if you think about it, it's entirely logical that the, the number of crypto you have is so much more important than the current dollar value. So the number of crypto you have is so much more important than the current dollar value because you know you know that every crypto, even XRP, is going to be worth a lot more in 12 months than it is now, right? In the case of XRP, probably maybe a 2 or 3x at the most, but in the case of something like Hex and Pulse Chain, it could be a 50x or 100x more in 12 months' time. Yeah? But so, so measuring your success or where you are, if you like, or going back to that analogy of the parents' evening, measuring... Even looking really at the dollar value is so unimportant. It's really just about the, it's just about the um, how many have you got. It's like you know, even with big blockchains like Ethereum, I gave myself a target to get 120 Ethereum in 2019. I think it was 2019. Now, it didn't as it turned out. I don't know what the dollar value of 120 Ethereum was when it was $80. Not very much. <laughs> Not very much. That's what I'm saying. But it, it translated into about three quarters of a million dollars. And it's the same now. Your dollar value. It's, I mean, so, somebody donated somebody donated a million PLS towards the Bolsworth International thing. And I thought, wow, that's generous. And it is generous. Any contribution is generous at this time. <laughs> I think it's about $120 or something stupid, you know. It's 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 quite funny. Um but goodness knows where it'll be in um in a couple of years. So the only things you've got to ask yourself is have you got enough hex and pulse chain? If you've been playing around with the meme coins and other things, great, but just be aware that if people tell you that the meme coins are gonna keep pumping all the way through this bull market, they're just lying to you. They're just ignorant or lying to you. It's one or the other, yeah? I'll just assume they're ignorant, okay? 
Um, if the, if people tell you that somehow somehow meme coins are going to assert things with phenomenal use case like Pulse Chain and like PLSX and like Fetch AI, then you know they're either ignorant or lying to you. Again, let's just assume they're ignorant. I mean, for me personally, and for big investors that I talk to, it's getting a bit over the top, the meme coins thing. I mean, it's it's getting a bit cringe. The meme coins are getting cringe. The big investors that I talk to, and I talk to big investors all the time, they think the meme coins are, are horrendous. But let's just assume you're a younger crypto bro. Even the younger crypto bros that I talk to are saying that they're, they're crass. I mean, they're trying too hard to be funny now. And it's obvious it's what the meme coins are trying to do. Oh, okay. They're just trying to... You just look at a meme coin now and, okay, they've tried to be funny there. Yeah. They're trying too hard to be funny. So the established meme coins with connections with Elon Musk, that sort of thing, they're going to they're gonna continue to do well. The meme coins that got those millions of wallets for them out there on Robin Hood and people's iPhones. Most people I know, when I tell them I'm in crypto, they pull out their iPhone and they show me their Dogecoin. <laughs> they say, oh, I'm in crypto as well. Look, I got $200 of Dogecoin there. And I'm like, how much have you got? They're like, how much have you got? I'm like, I've got, got, yeah, I've got a little bit more than that. <laughs> i got a little bit more than that. Are you in Dogecoin, though? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, yep, so now you know the cycle. If you know the cycle, it's very, very easy. There's literally no point even, there's no point doing anything other than watching the Bitcoin price. And you only have to watch the Bitcoin price, by the way. So we all should be cheerleading the Bitcoin price right now. And you only have to cheerlead the Bitcoin price until it breaks a prior all-time high. Then we don't need it anymore. And that's literally what the, the attitude of the crypto bros to Bitcoin as well, by the way, increasingly. So once Bitcoin breaks a prior all-time high, it's only got a 2 or a 3x left in the tank. And we don't get out of bed here in the Hex and Pulse Chain community for a 2 or 3x. So Richard thinks that Bitcoin will top out at 241 once it breaks a prior all-time high. There's only a 2 or a 3x to get to there, isn't it? So what the crypto bros do then is they start to move some of their some of their Bitcoin gains, which have come sooner, sooner, faster, and harder than they expected, into Ethereum and into Aptos and Sui and Say and other new layer ones like Pulse And that's what they do, and that's what they're going to start doing as we get into this mania phase. And the investors, do you know, they don't spend two seconds looking at things. It's like What's popping off now? New layer ones, right? What are the new layer ones? Give me a list and I'll put 100,000. I've seen people do it, guys. I've done it myself. Not 100,000, 10,000. My minimum investment in the last world market was 10,000. If I thought something was worth doing, it was only worth me getting my MetaMask wallet out if it was for 10,000 investment. If I heard somebody mentioning something, that was enough. Alex Becker's shield this, Michael Supos likes that. I'm fucking 10K, 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 10K. The bigger guys, the bigger guys, because I'm a little crypto bro, me. The bigger crypto bros at 100K, 100K, 100K. Michael Saylor's mates will be a million K, million K, million K, million K. And it'll include a million K for Pulse Chain. So what's going to happen is that when we start to get into the mania phase, which could happen in a few days' time, when Bitcoin closes, it breaks, breaks above, not closes, breaks above. Yeah, closes is breaks, isn't it? Breaks. I like the phrase breaks. Breaks, breaks the prior all-time high. I mean, you're not coming back to it or unlikely to come back to it. Yeah, it probably won't come back to it. Um, yeah, that's when uh, I think that's when Rich is going to start oiling the cogs, oiling the cogs, finessing the wheels and things. Yes, yes, yes. Let's connect up with some people. I think I think that's it. It's about it's about playing the cycle, not the coin. If you understand the cycle, you're absolutely fine. If you understand that 95% of the gains are still to be had, guys, it, they're still to be had, and. Um, and, it, and it's funny, isn't it? And we gave the example of Cardano. He'd done a four or five X by the time Bitcoin broke its prior, broke its prior all-time high in the last bull market. And then it did a 30 X, 30 X. I'll be quite happy with a 30 X, actually. I mean, I think we'll get more. And when we get to 30 X, I'm going to the sentiment thing. When we get to 30 X, I won't be saying I'll be quite happy with a 30 X. I'll be saying, 
Come on, baby. We're only in December. We've got at least another six months of bull market left. The Coinbase app is only top 40. It's not even the top one. Um, you know, all these other things that, that we look for, Google searches and, and all the rest and the Pi Cycle top and all the other things we're going to be looking at. They're not, they're not peaking. They're not topping. We've got at least another six months to go. We've done a 30x already. We can do, we can do at least another 30x. And there'll be thousands of people saying that on YouTube as well. And we'll enjoy listening to all these people saying that. And we'll all have get-togethers and huddle and things. I see the future. The future's bright. The future's so bright, we need to wear shades, guys. <laughs> Someone's talking about buying condoms. Matt in Bali says, I think I was rugged from blue chip meme co crap coin on base first and last. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think that um, a lot of people are, are get, do get rugged in meme coins. There you go. Hey. Yeah. T-shirt teacher says, do your best to, to make passive income. Well, that's right. And when we get later in this bull market and people have got so much money, I talked about how they just go like, oh, what should I invest in now? You know, so this, I'll tell, I'll tell some people something here, which is a good trick, which I tell people I advise and things. And, you know, this is, this is how you do it. So there's a point to be mostly in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we're leaving that point soon. And there's a point to be starting to get back into Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we're way from there, but at some point, it's going to be safer to start to take some of those profits. When you adopt that mentality that, all right, I've made these massive gains, now I need to start to protect them. Because I know that the very worst that Bitcoin is going to do is, go, is lose 50% of its value. I'm predicting that in the next bear market, Bitcoin only drops 50%. Unless we have a sort of uh, COVID-like event or something, I think 50% is about as far as it'll go. Because BlackRock and Fidelity and Vanguard and Vanek and ARK Invest are going to be sat there going, come on, come on, retail, sell that fucking Bitcoin to me because I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I want it all. It's all about AUM. It's all about targets. They've all got targets for how much Ethereum they want already. I think it's very dangerous to have a target. It's like a billionaire coming down your street and saying, I want all the, all the houses on the street. You know straight away the thing to do is to, to hold on to it then. Wait till yours is the last house on the street, and then you can charge the earth for it. I think it's very dangerous for the institutions to be stating the, the, the amount of Bitcoin in a percentage terms of the overall supply. They're saying how much of the, they want to hold. I think that's very, very dangerous. I think they're pushing the price up on themselves massively. We've never been in this situation before. Never been in this situation before. So I think the bull market is going to carry on well into 2025. We only, as we say here on every stream, because it's the important things to say, we just need a four or five X in the community to restore the, just to restore the mojo. I think when we get it, we're going to get it fast and hard and it's going to look like it's going to continue. At some point, we're going to get a rally, which isn't just sort of, you know, uh, a whale or the OA or something. I, th I think at some point we're going to get a, a sustained rally that people, the, the TA guys in the community like Tangent, and Han say this is this looks really strong now. You know we've really broken out from this pattern. We've re we've really broken out from this range. You know they'll 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 wow us with their Fibonacci's and fractals and their Bollinger bands and their Elliott waves, and we'll go fantastic. I'm all in. <laughs> and then people will comment, "Do you think?" Do you think I've got another month? <laughs> I just need another month. I need a little bit longer to DCA. <laughs> I can't wait till people are coming in the comments saying, I hope it doesn't go up. <laughs> I'm, or the other one, the one that the classic one is, I'm just waiting for one more dip. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one more dip. Well, you've had since, you've had since September 2021 to buy the dips in Hex and Pulse Chain. So at some point, we're just going to go on a face melter. You know, a Fetch AI face melter, <laughs> a Solana face melter, even. It's so funny. Remember, we talk about Solana here quite a lot because it's fascinating. Nobody wanted Solana at eight dollars. Everyone said it was, it was, it was a dead chain. It wasn't coming back. Blah blah blah. Too many VCs. If it goes up, they'll all sell. We had somebody in the comments yesterday, didn't we? I blocked him. He said, um, he said. Oh, hex and pulse chain can't go up because there's too many, too many whales that want to sell it. Well, most cryptos have got massive VCs. They are whales. 
They are whales with a fiduciary duty to sell on your head. We don't have that in Hex and Pulse Chain. It's the same in every cryptocurrency, guys. And yet Solana has gone up from $8 to 200 Ivan on tech, who's probably nearer to Vitalik Buterin's IQ than my IQ. He says that he's definitely nearer to Richard's IQ than my IQ. We, we say on Crypto7, Richard Hart is much cleverer than we are, don't we? That's what we say. We should make that go viral. Richard Hart is much more clever than we are. So all these hex streamers that start moaning about Richard Hart's decision making and how they wouldn't do it like that. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like um, it's like the sofa armchair TV pundit coming into an F1 team saying, oh, I wouldn't do that like that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that like that. You don't know what you're doing. You know, you've got those tire warmers on wrong. And oh, my God, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What was I saying there? There was something about, I've talked about dollar value. There was something else. No, I've lost it now. No, I'll connect up and maybe it'll come to me. But there was something else I was sharing. I think it's been a good stream. We're going for an over an hour, guys. Yeah, so the T-shirt thing, the T-shirt teacher's making a good point. I think I think T-shirt teacher, of course, then the T-shirts will be more expensive and they'll have missed the opportunity. But people will, that's how it goes, isn't it, in crypto cycles. People will want to, people will want, hex, hex. Both hexes, but particularly hex on pulse chain, is, are going to become very attractive, very alluring, very sexy as we go into this bull market later when people are starting to think about tax implications and, well, what am I going to do with all this money? And um, I don't want to pay 40% tax. I haven't got enough. I haven't I haven't got enough to get to Monaco if I pay 40% tax. What am I going to do here? Um, oh, I know. I'll just I'll just lock some up. And that's, um, that's a, just a good thing to do, isn't it? I'll lock some up in staking ladders to end in um, the next bull market. 200 pulses. Shit, I missed the beginning again. Just just, uh, just, just to replay it, buddy. Just replay it. And uh, shout out to all the replay viewers. So I said loads of nice comments after yesterday's stream. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. And um, oh, I'll have a go at answering this now. A lot of people have started to say to me, really appreciate the positivity crypto stuff and really appreciate the consistency. That's why I'm hearing a lot. But when's it going to happen? Well, maybe this should be a subject of a different stream, but the when is the when is very soon now. And it and it it's half answered by this issue of when are we going to get when when is Bitcoin going to break its prior all-time high? And if it's in a few days' time then we could just be days away from the kind of rally that we all signed up to in Hex and Pulse Chain. We could be just days away. <laughs> but it might be, because we're further ahead than we should be, it might be that, and if Grayscale keeps selling as much as it has been, I, I think it will run out of money to spend within a month. It will have spent all its Bitcoin. So um, that could delay things a month. Um also, you normally get a bit of a dip around the halving. So it's possible if Grayscale keeps selling between now and the halving, and then the halving causes a little bit of a correction as well, that may, maybe we don't get the mania phase for another couple of months. But I'm thinking out loud and just seeing how I, it seems to me that at some point in the next couple of months, next three months, we're going to have those four, that four or five X in Hex and Pulse Chain, which is going to restore the mojo completely. You know, so the summer, I, th I think by the summer, I, I can't I can't see how Hex and Pulse Chain can stay down here. Now that we understand that 95% of the gains come after Bitcoin breaks its prior all-time high, now we understand that the mania phase is around the corner. I think that it has to be the case that we get the gains that we, we crave See, one of the things in crypto, and it seems to be exaggerated in Hex and Pulse Chain, is you get the grains, but you don't get them. You don't get them in a way that is easy on you, and you don't get them in a way. It's the same as you get. You don't get them in a way that most people would be happy with getting them. So, we, we've had about a four or five x, depending on which RH ticker you're in, since the bottoms. 
if we'd had that four and a five X in a sustained slow way without many major retraces, if we could just see ourselves tick it up, we'd all be very happy. Our, our mental state would be much better. We'd be exact same prices. The dollar values in our MetaMasks and Trezors and Ledgers and Tangium wallets would all be the same, but we'd be a lot happier. But when, it, when, it, when it's given to you and then taken away and you felt really it wasn't enough before and now as some of it's been taken away, you get really a bit pissed off. Um, but yeah, so, but at some point, I think that uh, some point soon we will start to see some massive gains in Hex and Pulse Chain. And, and and they will be massive because there will be 50% retraces as well in Hex and Pulse Chain. And we're certainly not in a position now to be having more 50% retraces. So we're going to be getting like 3, 4x and then a 50% retrace, a 10x and then a 50% retrace. And those 50% retraces will still be very, very painful because you'll be down from a million dollars to half a million in your MetaMask. You'll be down from 10,000 to 5,000, wherever you are, wherever you're at in the scheme. By the way, by the way, if you're only if if if, if a fifty percent reduction is going to take you down, because we're not going to get a fifty percent reduction for months and months now, because we've had all the we've had all the fud, we've had all the negativity flushed out. If if you if you're in that sort of an area, you've not invested enough, and this is this is the opportunity now. But yeah, it's coming very very soon, guys. Very very soon, the comments are going to be filled with, "I'm just waiting for one more dip. I'm just waiting for one more dip, and then I'm going all in." <laughs> <laughs> do you think there'll be another dip <laughs> these will be the comments <laughs> and we will ridicule you publicly we will drag you through the hex and pulse chain community tarred and feathers look this guy said he wants another dip <laughs> you've had the dip it's like the meme isn't it where the guy's going i'm just looking for what he's, he's at the very base of, of a parabolic fry thing just goes vertical like the Fetch AI price, you can see here, just vertical. Take a look at this on the old chart. It's absolutely tremendous. You look at it on the... Um, there you go. That's <laughs> that's that's what Hex and Pulse Chain is going to look like some point in the next two weeks to two months. It's going to look like that. And then people are going to be here going, I'm just waiting for a dip. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a dip. I'm just waiting for a correction. As soon as it corrects, I'm all in. I'm out of my meme coins. I'm going all in when it corrects. I'm going all in when it corrects. Oh, fuck, it's correcting. I'm selling. I'm selling now. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's going up again. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, yeah, I'll just check I haven't got any super chats. You know, that's and I'm not super chat begging. I'm just uh, checking, not begging. <laughs> Yeah, good stuff, guys. It's all about the cycle. And most hex streamers understand the tokenomics and the nuts and bolts better than I do on the cryptos. But I understand the cycles. If you understand the cycles, you can be low IQ like me, you can be rich like me, and you can do very well like me. And and that's really it. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice to to understand that um, PLSX has burnt through 4% of the supply and it's never coming back in a bear market. It's nice to understand these things, but you don't have to. <laughs> All you actually have to do is to um, be a good judge of character. That's why a lot of hexagons became very rich through Richard Hart. They just went, oh, you know what? I don't know my proof of work from my proof of stake. I don't know my Bollingers from my Elliots, but this Richard Hart guy, I like him. Say what you like, I like him. You see the whites of his eyes in the streams? I like him. I like him. I'll just invest it with him. I'll invest with him. The bit where the hexagons fell down is they didn't understand the cycles. The hexagons said, we've decorrelated. We're not going to have a bear market. <laughs> We're not going to have a bear market. Is, what's, what's the guy with gay called? I can't remember his name now. One of the hexagon OGs was saying that. He blocked me actually in the early days. I think that must be why he's blocked me because I, I, I did point out that was uh, <laughs> slightly wrong. <laughs> I pointed out he was slightly wrong. Whales only, that's his name. <laughs> Whales only. I've appeared on things with him. I've never mentioned this because I'm not a, I'm not a, a, I've been blocked winger. You know, you get the guys on X that, that, that uh, photo screenshot the fact they've been blocked by somebody and then they go onto the community crying. 
Wales only's got me blocked. The only thing I can think is that I pointed out that he was wrong to say that Hex was decorrelated and we wouldn't have a bear market. He, I think I said something like that in the early days of going into Pulse Chain. I think he must have heard him saying that and blocked me. But hey, listen, I'm quite happy being blocked by people. Block me, please block me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I still respect the guy. And that's fine. I'm not going on X going, oh, well, why'd you block me? Oh, please don't block me. Oh. <laughs> Who cares? We're here for the money on Crypto7. We're here for the money. I hope Wales only makes a lot of money. I hope that Complex Simon, Blobfish King, Milan Tang, everyone subscribe to Crypto7. Um, Monaco started as a meme. Could end up a reality. Cheers, guys. Speak to you all soon. Awesome. I'm all out. Bye.